I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this look. What do you think? I'm filming in my restroom and someone just used it and the flushing noises are bothering me. I'm just gonna wait for it to like die. It's dying. Hey lovely bitches. So my name is Lanelle Angela. This is going to be my first YouTube video. I wanted to do something fun, something lighthearted. And we are going to be doing the ABG transformation. I'm super excited. I live in the Bay Area. So this is definitely, I feel like, the center of ABGs. They always a fucking bomb. They got that fucking boss ass energy. So what exactly is an ABG? An ABG is a special type of Asian girl who enjoys going to clubs, partying and drinking with friends, loves to get boba and shop, usually an Instagram model, influencer, or bartender. First step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our nails because we want the whole crazy transformation going on. And look at this, sis. What is this? I have not been to a salon in forever and I'm about to go now, especially since it's COVID. I'm also trying to save money, you know? So we're gonna do this the broke bitch way. Boo, it is cute. Oh my God, I don't wanna do this anymore. Shit, I have to remove this one, like. Is it even? So we're done with our nails. Look snatched. It was a struggle. Literally took a fucking hour. So now we're gonna prep our skin and our lips. And first, I'm gonna put the Laneige lip mask on my lips. Next up, I'm gonna be moisturizing my skin with the Ole Henriksen Truth C Brightening Gel Cream. I really like this product as a base for my makeup. It's not unscented, so I don't think I would recommend it. We're gonna be using this brand called Nishido. I got it from the Philippine. A good alternative would be the Sephora brown liners. Um, my friend recommended me that and it is literally a dupe for a BH. I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas of my brow. So now we're gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer to define our brows even more. So now that we are done with our brows, I am going to color correct with this True Complexion HD Corrector from Black Radiance. I think this is a good product overall. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible and I'm in the shade 470. I am going to be mixing it with some LA Girl Pro Conceal that is a darker shade so it can match my tan skin. It is medium to me medium to heavy coverage. So I personally like to use this brush by It Cosmetics. I pat it in first and then I buff it in a circular motion. I feel like that gives it a smooth finish. In camera, like it looks so pale. Ew. <laughs> I look so uh, but you know, we're gonna work our magic. I'm gonna be using two shades to contour. One is Tofi for my nose and Toast for my jawline. Love to make a jawline, especially since I be in the quarantine 10. This is my tip. So I do contour slightly higher than my normal cheekbones, just slightly, because it gives you that Angelina Jolie vibes, you feel me? Don't be afraid of contouring, you know, contour. Just circular motions and lifting it out. So when I contour my nose, I make sure to go in this part of the eye. It just makes it look more natural and creates a bridge. So now we're going to be doing our eyes and we're going to be using this MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. But I noticed like ABGs, they really like to use um, neutral colors and focus more on the eyeliner and the lashes. So we are going to be using the Tati Beauty Palette. I really like this because it's very versatile. You could go from super glam to natural. I'm going to pack it on here first, creating sort of like a winged effect and then blending it all the way to my inner corners. I'm going to be using my fingers to add some shimmer in the middle part. This is in the shade story. Yo, I am going to put you guys on. I'm going to line my eyes with Essence Super Last. Oh my god, I cannot explain how amazing this is. The only downfall is it is not that precise. So you really need to learn how to like, control your hand. But the pig, like the pay off of it, is so beautiful and it's super cheap. 
Do not be afraid of like fucking up your eyeliner because there's concealer for a reason, okay? Right there. Ooh. Oh my god, that's so good. I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer, and honestly, like at first, I really did not like this product, but I tried it again for like the second time two days ago, and it is actually perfect. I'm just gonna clean my wings, because you know, these ABGs, they just look super snatched. Like everything is done well with fucking precision. Ooh, okay, y'all see this? Hi. I'm getting excited. Uh, I love this part of makeup when like everything just starts to like look good together and just blend and melt and look like fucking art again because sometimes it'd be looking like a mess and I'm like, uh, like I want to wash it all off because I feel like I fucked up, but like I think it's good. It's working like honey. This concealer really did the job. I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D shade in light contour because I just love the cool tones in it, which is perfect for creating that shadow that we want, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna make a jawline all over again. And like I said, I do like to make my cheekbones look higher. So I put this slightly higher than my normal one and I'm just gonna do that for the other side um honestly I just do a really light swipe up here because I prefer to go harder on the bronzer there because the sun really hits that spot more and now I am going to be baking underneath the eyes just slightly to make it look brighter and I'm going to be using the Lyric shade I'm gonna be contouring my nose with powder. So what I like to do is I like to use the somber on the bottom, right here at the bottom. And I just tap it a little bit. And I'm going to be using shadow play for this side. Look at this nose that I created. Like the bridge is here, it exists now. Being like Filipino, like sometimes the bridge is lost. Who are you? Um, can I get boba? Boba, I like it. That's the true question. So I'm gonna do my bronzer using this Physicians Formula Ultimate Murmur Butter Collection. And I got this from Amazon. No one really talks about it, which is a huge mistake. Look at all these bronzer shades that it has. And it smells so fucking amazing. But the worst part about this is, um, what's this called? It's packaging. This is how big it is. I broke it, so it just looks like this now. But if you're like me and you just stay at home a lot right now because we're in quarantine, well, this is the perfect one because you're not gonna be carrying it around anyways. It has that shimmer, you know, we wanna look cute and colored. And ABGs, obviously we got that fucking sunlight hitting us right. I'm not really sure about eyeshadows yet. I haven't tried that out, but Girl. They even have blush and I'm telling you right now, Physicians Formula bronzers are really good, right? And their blush leads to that expectation, expectation, yeah. So I'm gonna be using this little peachy tone here, just have a little more color because I look very, very brown. I am not here for it. We're gonna be using blush as contour, so not obviously slightly higher. Just gonna put that here. A little tap there. Up here, a little rosier look. You can see that? Oh, and it has that shimmer in it. Like, boba makes my skin look this good. Boba is the secret to life. I'm gonna be using my foundation from earlier to just clean up my contour and really make myself look more snatched. So, good luck. Look at the difference it makes. Let me put you guys on, okay? Start buying lashes from AliExpress because it is way cheaper than the ones in store, but it does come in like two, three months. That's how long I waited. Look at how gorgeous it is. I am so excited to use it. The way to put eyelashes on is put it in the middle part of your eye. And that's when you start putting it all together. 
I forgot how to do this with long nails. Fucking kill me. No, actually don't do that please. I love earth, I love life. Oh my effing fuck. I completely forgot how to act with nails on. Like, okay, but my favorite with nails is just like this little sound right here, like. Hey, it's a more shit right there. I messed up. Gotta redo this shit. I'm not even sure if it is even. It is not. Ugh, whatever. That's how as good as it gets. This. Dude, it literally reaches my eyebrows. Look. <laughs> I'm gonna like put it down a bit. You know. Maybe just have more of a nudish lip, and so I'm gonna just line my lips with this Italia lip liner. And then I'm gonna put the Sunny Space Fan Box. It's more pink than nude, but I think adding a little color right now would be good for us. I'm gonna be putting on this Max Cherry Moya lip polish, and I don't think it's the best lip gloss out there, but I can't find my Fenty one, and it'll do the job. So I'm just gonna put it lightly. We're gonna put our final touches, which is highlighter, and I'm going to be using this palette again because it has amazing highlighters. Like, look at this shade. It's to highlight my bridge. Ooh. We're not even done to our transformation yet. We did our nails, we did our makeup, now we have to do our tattoos. With this pillowcase. Choking is a turn on for me, but that's a bit much. Girl, shut up! Shut up! Oh my goodness! So now we're gonna be putting out our $20 wig from Amazon. And it comes with a wig cap. boba spot is not open because i took forever to finish this look and so i decided we're just gonna drink some soju i think it is fitting for the abg vibe y'all feel me like y'all like to party y'all like to drink shot by the way i'm 21 you guys he's like medicine another shot first youtube video so that's our first youtube video Woo look at this y'all this was commitment like i'm not even used to these anymore but y'all made me get them claws like i swear if there was no covid right now i'd be out in a rave for this video so please like subscribe today we are going to be doing an instagram fatty makeup tutorial where I wear sugar daddy's feet in a row.